What's up YouTube? It's VR Mousy. This is a distributor. This is for my 96 Honda Civic LX. I'm going to show you what I did and what I do to modify this distributor to be able to run an external coil and to get like a blaster series and get some real lightning bolts down through my spark plug wires and into the actual firing chamber. All right, so here's my brand new, bought it off eBay, 70 bucks, nice and cheap distributor. Okay, take the cap off, take the rotor off, take this shield off, unscrew and note your wires. This is the coil that is a peck into the stock distributor. Okay, so you've got a positive connection and a negative connection that I've already unhooked. So you need to know which wire is which so that you can feed your real coil with a good positive and a good negative connection. Okay, so then they got these two screws here, one and two, that hold this coil in place. And you get that coil out because, sorry, when you're modifying your stuff here and you wanna run a great big coil, that ain't a great big coil. Next thing you're gonna to have to do See that hole that I made here? I drilled a hole in the case so that I can run my cable because I have to run a cable from here from these two connections out to feed my coil. Okay, so here we are in the Minion. This is my 96 Honda Civic. I got a D15B it's a JDM motor, we don't need to go into that. It's a dual VTEC motor. But here's my old distributor and it failed. This part in here internally that's supposed to give 12 volt to the coil to feed that coil, it crapped out. And so I'm gonna have to pull him and get rid of him. I'd rather just do the whole thing again than piss around and do a little repair internal. All right, so this is my wire that I'm bringing across to feed my blaster coil, okay? So from that same connection that I showed you on the bench in my new distributor, I'm going to solder these onto that. I'm going to go through the hole, the same hole here. You see how I've got it silicone shut on this one? I did. Make sure and seal your connection. Run your cable. Mine goes out around behind. And buried down in here, you can see my MSD blaster coil. And so my red and my black that you can see here feed the positive and the negative connections on the top of this coil. And then at that point, my spark comes from here. Rather than coming from inside of the distributor and going from inside the distributor from inside the distributor here up off the top of that coil across that little angle and then it gets spun around which makes more sense when you look at the stock cap and you see that the coil sits inside the spark comes up through the coil here that up spark hits this little guy and it carries across inside there's a piece of metal that'll carry from here to there that center spark okay and then on the rotor the rotor will catch that spark at the center and then distribute it around to your four spark plugs all your sport four spark plug wires from inside obviously and it catches that spark at the center and it spins around and it gives that spark to these four terminals which are going to have your spark plug wires connected to it what i've got is i've got the msd pro cap and that here's the part number if anybody's interested let me zoom it in nice and pretty okay there's your pro cap that's set up already to receive an external spark here and then it'll pass that through and then distribute it around just like how you would in the normal 
cap. Okay, when you get the MSDs like that, here I've got my little ones, and I usually get them off of Amazon because they get here really quick and it's cheap. There's the cap rotor mod kit. Okay, there's your MSD part number. This kit is going to come with the cap set up for a modified spark, the rotor, and it has a little tool in there and enough cable to run and you see how I ran mine from the distributor across and then my coil sits way over there uh, it gave me the whole cable to be able to make that connection between the distributor cap and your new coil so they provide you with the wire to carry your spark you're on your own for your spark plug wires and mine are pretty fat I run a 10.2 millimeter spark plug wire because I'm putting a lot of spark out. But anyway, that's how you do the modified cap and rotor. That's how you do the external coil on a Honda Civic 1.6, 1.5. Generally, any Honda Civic and a lot of the Del Sols and the D-Series Integras and whatnot, you can do the same thing. I'm only really talking about D-Series Honda stuff because that's what I'm dealing with. Thanks. VR Mousy. Enjoy.